United States is getting out of control. People don't like batteries anymore. You like trees. You like trees. I mean, I did not bury Kaylee near a tree. If that's what you're asking, most definitely not. Do you like cars? She was not in the back of my trunk. I mean, why would you ask that? What, a car? What, what about a car? A car? What, what are you talking? I mean, are you kidding me? Well, I was just asking because, you know, when I was a kid, I used to like Hot Wheels. But you don't like cars because now you're all paranoid and shit talking about that you... about. I have nothing to hide. I'm not paranoid about anything. But maybe if you were to take a look at yourself in the mirror, you'd find yourself to be a liar. Honey, I do look at myself every day in the mirror. And I, you know, I, I love my hairstyle right now. I dyed it, if you couldn't tell, I dyed it black. And I tightened my shirt on the side. And I have my little cross necklace that I got three years ago. And I put on the Kaylee shirt, which actually, if you rolled the sleeves up, it can be very fashionable. Well, let me ask you this, okay? How much time do you spend in the bathroom? Uh-huh. Um, anywhere from about 45 minutes to two hours. I mean, it just, it depends. Most definitely, it depends. All right. And I respect that. Because, you know, a woman likes to look and beautiful. I, and I respect you, Dr. Phil, most definitely. A Absolutely. woman likes to look beautiful, correct? Excuse me? A woman likes to look beautiful, correct? Oh, absolutely. All right. For all the time that you spend beautifying yourself, rectifying, and titillizing, why don't you get off your ass and find Kaylee? I have told my attorney everything about that. So, you know, that's, I mean, most definitely what I'm trying to do right now. Now, before we go, I, I do have one question, though. Uh -huh. You know, I noticed that you say absolute. And and so what are some of your other cases? I don't say absolutely a lot. I mean, most definitely, I absolutely do not. So I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you have your absolutes and your salutes and all of those shit. I mean, people quote me. Uh, obviously, I'm on like websites, you know, and people people seem to enjoy exactly what I say. And just like my, just like how I am, people. Mm -hmm will study and characterize you into what you say, okay? Now I'll tell you something she like to say, fool. Like in case you don't hate me for this shit, man, but harder, man. She said harder all the time. Harder, harder, man. We can just be in the car. She look at me, fool. She's like, harder, baby. Man, that bitch a freak, man. She a freak. Well, you know, when I have sex with my wife, she usually, she doesn't even call me Phil. She calls me God. And I feel, I feel special. Don't you feel special, Casey? M most definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate y'all coming to my show. And maybe, you know, because obviously I got higher ratings now. Because, you know, obviously, now there's people that watch CNN. Now, I've been I've been pimping my show off for a long time. And, and people should know that, that I pimp out my show. I, I bring people to my show. And I elude people to believe that I can help them. But I'm not really helping them, no, am I? Because I got no answers. Now, well, Dr. Phil, sweetheart, you can help Casey and everybody searching for Kaylee. If you, because I know, Mr. Phil, that you have money, you can donate to, to Casey's trust fund, okay, sweetheart? And that will be money to go towards Casey. But that Casey fund is now defunct. Okay, the money that was used was supposed to go for poor little Kaylee, and now she's dead. How could you? You don't know that, don't you, Phil? I know a lot. I don't have to be like a Gail St. John to know that. You are evil. Evil. Evil people. How could you sit there and talk about that your daughter's still alive? We all want Kaylee to be alive, but how could you sit there and talk about that Kaylee is... I hear God talking to me, sweetheart. Okay, I hear God, and if God is telling me she's still alive and there's hope, I'm, I'm believing that hope, and you're not going to take it away from me. But where are you hearing God? Is God telling you in your Rice Krispies? I, you know, 
that's a very personal thing, sweetheart. I don't, I can't answer that. Because really, I don't think you even praying. I really don't. I don't see you getting off your ass and helping the situation. Y'all nothing but a waste of time. But I really appreciate y'all coming down, give me like 200,000 hits. And I'll probably get like 400,000 more on my website because of y'all. Absolutely. So, Dr. Phil, like, if I go home on the computer and I type in my name, Casey Marie Anthony, would I find, like, things about me from your show? Yeah, you probably would. And you'd probably see that I call That's you amazing. a snaggletooth whore. That's it. Uh-huh. Now... Y'all can sit back. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna talk to my audience here, and I'm gonna close this up, wrap it up. Everybody knows that Casey Anthony is a liar. I don't care who you are. Y'all sitting back, looking. Now, I've told y'all before. You don't need sideburns or head but a priest. You really don't. And I'm gonna tell you this right now. I don't understand why people will look at, 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 at Casey and see a mother. I don't see a mother. I see evil. I see a motherfucker. Thank you. I appreciate the ghetto supplements. I'm down. One. Anyways. What I think people need to realize is, is that it's not about Casey Anthony. Y'all want to believe that. Y'all are tabloiding it, putting it in the papers. People just don't care. They don't. They don't care at all. I care. That's why I invited every single one of these people. And y'all decided to listen to my show. And, now unfortunately my show is not going to be, now, I pimped out my show for y'all so you can come check me out. And the sad thing out of all of this is that when you look behind the headlines, what is the real story? Now y'all watch my show. Did you get any answers? Nope. Not at all. I just lied to y'all. I told you I had some useful information. And obviously I didn't help you out at all. So, tune in tomorrow. We're going to help a little boy with cancer. But we ain't going to help him either. Take care, America.